Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. See murder. Claudia Jordan. Claudia Welcome. Jordan. What's up, fam? What's, What's up, going up, on, everybody? How y'all doing? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm tired. Why? I'm tired. You should be. You, you, you just got out of hell. Mud. Uh, You've been diving <laughs> over things. That show, well, I guess we're here to talk about uh, Deal and No Deal Island. So it was really crazy. And I had to be in a tent with four other people mm -hmm. where they said, hey, before you go to the bathroom, make sure there's no snakes or scorpions. Mm, it yikes. was really roughing. It was like Survivor meets Deal and No Deal. You where was I seen it? you drive uh -huh. into a mud. Where, yeah, where was it? Uh, it was in Panama, but not oh, like okay. where it was developed. It was very much like in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And so they threw all these people together and basically $200 million was up for grabs in the woods. How so much? The, 200, 200 million. million. The biggest 200? game. Yes, that's why I did it. So, 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 wow. so, so for somebody to explain it, break it down. So they put, I guess, uh, checks or money in briefcases. Right. Threw them all over the forest. So the, the, it's the Banker's Island. There's a helicopter. They drop off all these briefcases. They have different dollar amounts from, it could be, Five dollars all the way up to millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. So we have to build the board up. So we have to go and find. In the beginning, you're all working as a group to build the board up because the last person standing is the one that plays for the big money. But you can eliminate people along the way. So if you don't like someone, you could just be like, "I'm taking you out. Like I won my game. I'm taking you out." Damn. So it's conniving going on. You have to be good at the challenges and socially, you have to be, you mm -hmm. know, on point. This is great for you. Oh man, you know, <laughs> I, I, I highly recommend you don't miss next week's episode because I had to let this old Karen have have it. <laughs> <laughs> real, real, like. Now is that the old Karen that I don't, I don't know her name, but her is name that is the, the old woman that yeah. yeah had to help her in the mud because Man, she, it was all cap. Really, cap. Mm. That was smart, but see, see, the lady was old, so she made everybody else go get her stuff because course, people felt bad for her. Oh, she wasn't no. that old; she was only twelve years older than me. But you know, we have melanin. <laughs> <laughs> I guess y'all not friends anymore. So I kept saying, I'm like, we're only 12 years apart. <laughs> we're 12 years apart. I kept letting it be. Kept throwing it out there. I mean, you know. <laughs> $200 million. So you can't say if you won yet, huh? I can't. Mm. I did see some lobsters with some oodles and noodles the other day. <laughs> some lobsters with some noodles. There have been some changes. She did fly private here, just to uh, let y'all know. I mean, that. There are, there's, been, there's been some changes. There's been a few changes. But um, yeah, so definitely this uh, this week, you definitely want to catch this week's episode. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fireworks this week. Like, I definitely, Sea Murder was definitely there this week. And Deal or No Deal, you was, weren't you on that back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the yeah, pilot. Yeah. Okay, okay. I did four years on that, and um, that was the highest rated show on NBC since Friends. We would have like wow. 13, 14 million viewers a night. So it was a classic. They wanted to bring it back, but then they mixed it with Survivor. Mm -hmm. So it was really hard. But they had civilians. As, like, they would know the celebrities on there. Mm -hmm. Well, Boston Rob, he won Survivor like five times. Mm -hmm. So he was on there. But everybody else, they was Googling before we got in the jungle, like saying, like, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be here because you already have, like, a good life. And that kind of caused a little bit of tension. I'm like, so it's up to you to tell someone else that they've had enough success for you. Right. So that kind of happened. Yeah, no. and $200 million success is different than like, I, I don't think I'm saying it's like about. come on yeah. so, so what made you want to do this like what was the call about like what's 200 saying, you know, million 200 million R yeah. really that was it yeah, I'm trying to retire I'm tired mm -hmm. you know how much I work yeah. I'm like working a lot you know I feel like we have to yeah. especially as black women like we gotta do like twice as much sometimes um, well Deal and No Deal has always been sentimental for me mm -hmm. you know I was on there since the pilot mm -hmm. and I feel like if they're gonna do a show about Deal and No Deal I'm damn sure gonna be, be a part of it because it means a lot to me like it was a big part of middle America really like know who I was mm -hmm. you know what I mean like that show and it seemed like it would be fun mm -hmm. and I didn't know there's gonna be scorpions in the porta potty but it and ended all up being, this it was athletic challenge. stuff that you had to do did you train for it I did we yeah. had to do a swim test you had to like really like be good at you know holding your breath underwater there's I no mean, way Karen passed that, Tim, that swim <laughs> test there's no way <laughs> you'll leave Karen why, why people know how to swim Huh? They're not a swim. Now, if you would have seen her trying to get through the mud, you would be like, I, I don't, I, I'm surprised she passed the second episode. Here? Yeah, how did yeah. she even make so it So you've seen the first episode. Mm -hmm. You saw how the, the, the poker player helped her out, yep. and it kind of messed himself up. Mm -hmm. So mm. I, I just feel like, like, why are you doing yourself a disservice by mm -hmm. doing that? Like, you, you changed the trajectory of the game, because if you didn't do that, she'd have been out of there the first episode. And she kind of does, like, a lot of backstabbing stuff mm. you know I mean, on the show. So... It does get a little testy by next episode, I will say. Yeah. And how long it, we, did y'all tape for? We were there for three and a half weeks in a jungle. Damn. I had 100 bites on my legs from one day. Uh, Sand fleas, mosquitoes. Yeah. And we had to like take um, medication before we went out there. We had to oh, take uh, anti-malaria medication mm -hmm. because you can really, you know, Panama, that's where it really went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had to get all types of shots and yep. stuff too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the hardest thing you had to do? What the hardest obstacle? Um, the hardest thing I think was day one. Because we're thinking, like, I thought it was going to be a cute little game of go find the cases in the woods. So 
So they just tell you, they don't really tell you what's coming up. So they'll say, go around the corner, you'll see the cases. I'm like, all right, cool. You don't know what you're up, you're in for. You remember the movie, um, uh, what's it called? The Coliseum. Um, Gladiator? Uh, Gladiator, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. When they just, you don't know what's on the other side of the wall. They just open up the gate and you have to just fight with mm -hmm. whatever's in there. They let us go into this pit and the very first step you take, you're waist deep in mud. Mm -hmm. Yikes. And you don't know. And have you ever tried to navigate through mud? No. That's waist deep, that has Jeez. centipedes in it? So it's really physically challenging. Yeah. And then you have the backstabbing element. So it's like mentally you have to be sharp, physically mm -hmm. you have to be sharp, and then socially. Oh, so there's people trying to take you out. Yeah, so say you're in the bottom two of that challenge. million, bro. Yeah, say you're in the bottom, say we're in the yeah. bottom two of the challenge, mm -hmm. right? And um, one of us has to play the banker. Say it's you. Mm -hmm. If you make a good deal, you get to stay on, but you get to take out anyone else that doesn't have immunity. So you could just be petty and just take out someone that you think is like a, a strong competitor. Mm -hmm. If you make a bad deal, then you go home. So with that much money on the line, you're gonna like do whatever you like. You're gonna be grimy about it. So there's that that's happened. Like last night, the brother got taken out by the old like the old white lady, and it was really mean how she Dang. did it. She was saying like everything like he was so sneaky, but she was a sneaky one. Wow. She was, it doesn't seem safe. Let's see, you're talking scorpions and snakes. It doesn't but, seem. Um, like, there was some you had to sign off on this. I, we did, and while we're there, I go, I don't know, if, I don't know about this. Like <laughs> I could probably die here, but you know. <laughs> Did anybody get hurt, hurt, like hurt to the point where you had to take them to the... People the, got bit by snakes. <sighs> they had someone ride, drive, walking around our camp every night that was a boa constrictor catcher. So Damn. his job was to catch the boa constrictor so they don't go into our tents. We're sleeping in tents. Jesus Christ. So yeah. And what and somebody you... got bit by one? Oh yeah, like most people nah, got bit. Yeah. You have to put your hands in some things and then snakes will bite you. Uh, so you have to sign liabilities and waiver all forms and stuff. stuff like that. Yeah, but I you gotta do that on Housewives. You know what I mean? Like, like on most reality shows, you have to like sign off. That's like, a different type that's of a snake fight. on Housewives. Yeah, like, I mean, different, different type of snakes. snake. Yeah, different, different. <laughs> yeah you yeah. might. Yeah. But you can get tore up. I, I wanted to ask you about Deal or No Deal back in the day. when you, What was the semblance of you uh, holding case number nine the first week, but then being number one the rest of the... I don't know. They just, like, changed me, and I kind of liked it because I was... I feel like I was there since day one, so it kind of, mm -hmm. like, was sentimental. But we met a lot of people through that. That's when Trump came through that show. Okay. And because of that, he put me on Celebrity Apprentice. I don't rock with him anymore, but, you know, that show was... It was a big deal. Like, you got to see people's lives be changed yeah. from, you know, mm -hmm. winning crazy amounts of money. So, yeah. Sure. So, how did you eat, and how did they have y'all eating? They exactly. gave us food, like we didn't have to catch nothing like that. So oh, okay. they did feed All us, right. but it ain't like <laughs> <laughs> it ain't like you can have whatever you want though. It's right. like it is what it is, and that's it. It's like the basics, like the bare necessities is what you're gonna get, mm. and that's it. But like after a while, people got tired of like walking to the porta potties, so they decided like we felt like cats in a litter box. We was like digging holes in the sand, like whatever. Yeah, <laughs> uh, well. you know. But it's it's wild, and I I mean. I think we need more of us, like, I mean, like, black people on game shows. I feel like we bring a lot of flavor. I think we bring a lot of, like, competitiveness. And it was good to be a part of it because it's a big deal, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there's no other show that's ever given away or tried to give away that much money in that's history. a right? lot. And, well, is it fully $200 million, or is it one of those things where you pick one case and a case could be $5 million, one could be yes. $1 million? Okay, so like, it's, you're, it's, not you're not going to win. full of $200 million. Right, $200 okay. million is up for grabs. And so, that's a total of everything that you could win. But still, the the end game is the highest. You've never seen money like this before, or mm. offers like this before on any game show in history, in the world. Do y'all get paid regardless though for being on the show? You get like a small, stipend. you get a stipend. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it was, yeah. What was more difficult, this show or the, the Tubi movie where you shot the whole family? <laughs> like which one? Yo. Um, yeah, you killed the that is hilarious, the show, movie, to me. Yeah. I, I, Can I just explain that? Please, I watched it like the once movie. every couple of weeks. I think That's it's great. hilarious. I, I, I love it. I, like, I thought it was fantastic. Listen, I don't take y'all know I don't take myself seriously. So <laughs> the rest of the movie was decent. It's just that it's like you know when they feel like it feels like they run out of money at the very end with the editing. Yeah, because like the rest of the movie has a good nah. story. Yeah. Like when I saw it, I was like, "Come on, dog!" Like the gun didn't even move. The I kid, love right. it. The kid, I watch it often. <laughs> I watch it often too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but they be sitting there talking about she ain't had no gun. It was a gun. It just didn't move. Like, <laughs> and it didn't make no noise. Yeah. Didn't do nothing. And the kid, the way the kid died, the kid just went. That's it. I'm a kid. That was I'm a kid. <laughs> and then Jesus I had to Christ. stop the kid. That was me improving. I I wanted to add the extra stank of stomping on people after I shot them. Yes. Was that too much? Was that overkill? Yes. Thing? I mean, for the character she was playing, though, the role she was playing. Stop the little no. girl, though. Well, it was a boy. It was a little boy. Yeah. First of all, I'm in. My man's in jail. I wait for him. Then when he gets out, he's screwing the parole officer, and <laughs> and she. And then when I go to jail for shooting her in the leg, he don't wait for me, and then starts a family. Right. When you hear that, ain't I just, aren't I justified now? What? Not the kid. Not Snap. the kid, though. No, but <laughs> I said I wanted to have a kid. Yeah, it's just like an episode of Snap. I it's snapped. like yeah, you come yeah, home yeah, to a life right. that you wanted. 
or whatever, and your man ain't even wait for you, and you come home to another Especially when kid. you wait for them. Yeah. And now you can't re- return the favor. Everyone yeah. got to go. Killing everybody, even the kid. And the kid was... I think I need to watch the rest of the movie, because I do want to know what happens <laughs> after that. He always just go to that part. Really? Because everyone, everyone, Snoop reposted it, Michael Blackson reposted just that scene, so you just see that, you're like, oh, what Claudia doing this bullshit? No, I he, didn't think it was bullshit he literally at all. fast forards to that part. <laughs> that shit was great. Watch the lead up. Like, you got to watch how I held oh him down God. and all the things I had to deal with. And mm. with the parole officer, she was so stank. And then at the end, she gets my life. Mm-hmm. Everyone got to go. Oh, so that's the end of the movie that they be before. Yeah, that's the very end, Charlemagne. That's oh. the end. Oh. Come on, she killed kids. I don't stop no. killing kids. You already know that was you for a long time. <laughs> what? Charlemagne had to tell you, he was like, no, that's Claudia. I'm like, that's not Claudia. And he had, I did yeah, not know who you at first. Was you. At like, first, no, I was like, I'm not. glad people don't know. But now I proudly claim all I want is you, part one and part two. Please go watch it on Tubi. Run y'all. them numbers up. And I told y'all she about to shoot all I want is you three. <laughs> is it for real? Part three? They're doing a part three for real? You want to put the money up for it? it I mean, you probably got it. I got it. 75 dollars <laughs> <First of all, laughs> I got paid more for that than I did when I, for some other stuff. I will say that. Right, really? right. Yeah, they, they actually broke bread. People be playing. Yeah, people, people be. People sleep on Tubi. Some people are getting like six figures to do those movies. Mm-hmm. I want to do a Tubi movie. We want to do a Tubi movie. Just, it can be arranged. Yes, I'm not even choking. Yeah. We want to do a Tubi movie. Can I shoot you the movie? Yeah. I got a whole script. Please shoot him. <laughs> Please. But it's going to be bad on purpose, though. No, but that's what yes. makes, listen, that's what makes those Tubi movies good. Like, when you see, like, the mistakes in the editing, like, I have mm-hmm. jeans on, then I have black pants on, and then I have <laughs> jeans on again. That's what makes I the movies that. great. That's yes. funny. I don't even want prop guns. I want to use my fingers. <laughs> What's wrong nah, with you? Man? I yeah. see one like that on Tubi. They, like, they no. were, like, strangling on the guy, and he was this far away, and he was, like, doing this. Yep, all <laughs> types of stuff. But that's what make you go and watch it. Jesus. That's what make you go and watch Tubi. I have an idea I want to do. I want to, and I'm going to say this. No, maybe I should Don't say it on idea. There. No, because somebody's going to steal it. I'm going to do it, though. But I need I need the Tubi movies to get the recognition that they should get mm-hmm. for best, worst acting. Best, worst kill scene. <laughs> yeah. Best, worst Like a Tubi sexy. Awards. Yeah. That's exactly. It. They used to yeah. have something like that. What was it called? The Razzies. I think it, yeah, the Razzies. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. But on top of that show, I also got College Hill. I just wrapped College Hill. Season three. Hey. I just did, uh, Season yeah. Three. Who I else just was got, on there? Carlos uh, Miller. Damn, Tamar Braxton. Can't, who else was on there? Claudia? Tamar Braxton, <laughs> Carlos Miller, Saucy Santana, Black China, mm-hmm. and Nick Young. It was nice. only six of us this time, mm-hmm. and it was very, it was interesting. It was a lot. It's very, very hard. Why'd mm-hmm. you go back? Cause you you graduated from. College. I actually had one year left. That's okay. what started my modeling oh, career. Wow. I had one year left. I transferred to Long Island University. I was behind on money, so I said, "Let me just be a model for like a year or two and go back." And I never went back. It just mm-hmm. started a thirty-year career. Mm. So it, I did complete it. So it was hard. It's real school. Any celebrities that want to go on there, don't go if you can't read, and don't mm. go if you don't want really want to do the work because you will get exposed. Yeah, I, it's I, hard. I said that like it's real. I saw that with the, in the previous um, seasons with Ray J. I'm like, oh no, this seems like they really be on you about work. Because think about it, the teachers can't be soft on you because if you they do, well, then the next like semester, their real students are gonna look at them like. You, you're not really mm-hmm. you have to still be solid you mm-hmm. have to maintain your rep yeah and then that school was really hard so what classes you had to take and what school was it yeah it was xavier university in new orleans during mardi gras nice. we had to take history of mardi gras and slavery mm-hmm. and we had to do um philosophy uh political science we had to write a bill um media converged media class writing we had to write a lot of stuff it was a lot of work Damn. like it was a like it was a full class load plus it's shooting a reality show plus i continue to do my show TGIF five days a week while I was there. Wow. Sometimes I bring my computer to school and I would like broadcast like during the lunch break while everybody's eating. Mm. So I worked my butt off, but it was good. It was a, it was a good. Somebody told me it's real oh, school. Hell. No, like, yeah. it's real school. Like they don't play. They not they don't give you the celebrity version, mm-hmm. which is very frustrating to celebrities because mm-hmm. everybody thinks that it should be special for me. It should be easy. And this for is me. just a show. They're like, like no. we don't really care about that. Like our the integrity of our school is at risk because Tracy Edmonds made that show as a love letter to HBCUs. Mm-hmm. Not to, like, they ain't there for the drama part. They're there for you to really go to school. Yeah. But there's a lot that happens on this. Like, you have to really catch the season. It's going to be good. How trying was it being there during Mardi Gras? Like, for everybody. Well, some people were out every night. Mm-hmm. And then still had to go to class. Yeah. And there was definitely, um, it's a dry campus. So you're not supposed to drink. Mm. You're not supposed to drink. Mm. But, you know. Did, did you regret leaving school early back in the day? Well, I ran. I, I financially, I couldn't help it. Oh wow! Yeah, I did yeah. regret it, but I didn't have a scholarship. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, I kind of feel like an imposter because people thought I had my degree all these years, and I just let them think that. But on the show, I was real vulnerable about it, so I talk about it. Yeah. But yeah, but if I didn't do that, it, it wouldn't have led to like everything I've done after that because mm-hmm. everything started after I left school, mm-hmm. you know. But 
It was it was good. I feel like every time I talk to Claudia, I learn something new. Mm. Every single time. <laughs> and I didn't know you left school early. I thought you had, had a, a degree in journalism. Journalism, yeah. well, journalism broadcast journalism, mm. and TV production. Mm. But like I had one year left, and so it caught up with me. And I didn't have family that could just write that check at the time. Mm. So the modeling thing, and then here we are. Th- that was 30 years ago. Wow. That was 1993. And you probably was stuck with that debt too, right? Those three yeah, years? Yeah, I paid it off though. Okay. But it took me like a long time. Damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, who are you surprised about uh, as far as this cast? Tamar, Saucy, Black China, Carlos. Uh, Carlos Nick Young. is brilliant, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but a lot of comedians you have to be. Of course. You know what I mean? He was like surprisingly like he's really really smart. And at first he's like you'll see him have resistance, yeah. but then you'll see how he does it. And China, you know, we know about her journey about getting clean, everything, yeah. and sober. She um, celebrated 17 months being sober while she's with us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Anyone that questions if this is real for her or not, mm-hmm. I was her roommate. And I got to see her, like, how she struggled with things. She is 1,000% all in with this. Mm-hmm. And I have, like, a, such a newfound respect for Black China. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what she did on that show, she would go running, like, 10Ks and stuff. And she was just, like, always, she didn't want to be around no vape, no nothing. Like, nothing to mm. knock her off her journey. And oh, so, yeah. And Saucy is real smart. Like, he's really about, the, you know, he's gimmicky with his stuff. Mm-hmm. But that, he is a smart man. We got to kind of talk about our things because we've had words. I've had a report on him before. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, I know you have too. Yeah. And we, right away, like, we, we address that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we got to address things on that show. Tamar mm-hmm. and I, Saucy and I. So, right. Tamar and you, what were y'all beefing about? It's old stuff, but we squashed it kind of before. You know, I'm in a lot mm-hmm. of like stupid beefs over yeah. the years. You, know, you, you can't be in this business and have to talk without about it for a living right. without mm-hmm. people you running know, into kinda... some type of. Yeah. 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 I saw you and Foxy Brown get into it. She was talking shit. It was on the show. It was on, no, it was on Instagram. Oh. Because yeah. I said something about her just coming for Kim and then she got in my DMs and I told her to focus on t- catching the beat. I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, what I, whatever like I said. Wow, <laughs> Claudia. <laughs> what? <laughs> she came for me. That's not nice. Right, that's not nice. <laughs> I don't really care. She's focus on catching the beat. Jesus, I, I was it uh, seeing been, being reacquainted with Nick after you know doing. Oh yeah, because this is his second. That this your second reality show with him. Yep. So how was how was he? Was he just was, as quiet and no congested he actually, as he was? There? You. <laughs> no, he always sound like he had to blow his nose. Yeah. You will be surprised at the bromance that he forms on the show with that's and with up. and with who. Saucy, saucy, saucy. The bromance is adorable that he forms. Love it. And um, yeah, he he was. It was good to see a familiar face that I was cool with because yeah. we had no issues on the show, and mm-hmm. he was he's super nice. But yeah, like it was. You you kind of like a real vulnerable on that kind of show. Mm-hmm. You got to read in front of people. You have to like show your if you're really you know if you got it or you don't, and it's not easy. Yeah, you know. Gotcha. But yeah, we talked about you. Good things. I can read, yo. I, what you talking about? Not about you reading. Uh, <laughs> <I was> going, <laughs> no. Say, yo, we were talking about your class, how you can't be struggling. Why did he say that, Joe? Yes, I can read, yo. Jeff, why didn't say that? You can read. I, I, I can read. That's the only reason I didn't do the show, yo. I can read. They say you read with your finger. Yeah. I know. But, you know, it's just to track the words right. It, right. Yeah. And it'd be small print in your defense. Yeah, very, very small. And I'm like, yo, you make blow it up and give me less words. But the people that... Hold on, I'm confused now. What y'all talking about? When you reading the you know the news and stuff like that. I know, but yeah, why did yeah. you bring that up? It's on- no, because I thought that's what we were talking about. Because we were just talking about reading when she was like, you have oh, to, yeah. you know, you have to be vulnerable because you have to go in front of the class and read and stuff. So and she was like, we it. talked about you. <laughs> and she was like, we talked about you. And I was like, what? I can read. I thought she was saying there was something about me not being able to read in the class. No, we were saying good things about we glad that you ain't with old boy anymore. Oh, because I hated yeah, him. Because we did couples retreat together. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Me, Nick Young, and Claudia. I was meaner yeah. to oh, Jess's okay. guy than I. I really went in on him. Now she definitely was mean, but I. Really didn't care because of how I was being treated by this man mm-hmm. on TV. He was an asshole. So yeah, she, her, and her and KJ, KJ was. We had a bad. We was real protective. every single. He episode. almost got thrown into the water. Yeah, we should have yeah. done that. Mm-hmm. That'd have been reality gold. Yeah, she ain't like him at all. I was like, okay. We was like, good. I know he's mad now. She doing all good now. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah. Period. Yeah. But is I'm still happy alive? I made. I'm not sure. He's still alive. I'm not sure, Jesus you know, Christ. <laughs> he's, still, he's irritating. <laughs> yeah. Make but another no, I, video on Instagram. Yes. And I, and look, he was the only one that would make, he liked that, because you actually gave him a lot of clout with going back and forth know, with him. So I stopped, I blocked him so I could stop being tempted. Yeah, because he was loving the videos. And then he's a promoter in Baltimore yeah. City. So every time she would make a video, that would like, send people to his page and mm-hmm. then he would oh yeah I'm about to make another one and it's like 
you know, you arguing with a woman on social media. No, and then mm. when KJ would make a video, he wouldn't really have too much to say to KJ, but mm. just was directing it all to her. He was. And yeah, she gave him a lot of clout. People thought I was being messy, but if you know me, you know that I don't like seeing people getting bullied. Yeah. Even if you can handle it yourself, I just don't like the stuff he was doing in front of me. Yeah. And I'm a girl's girl. So if yeah. I see that, I'm going to have your back. And I think it rubs some people the wrong way. You know what I mean? Like, they'll, why are you in your business? But, like, they didn't see all the stuff that I got to see, and I didn't like yeah. it. I didn't appreciate it. So I'll always be like that. So y'all can call me messy. I really don't care. Right. Tell me something I haven't heard before. Right. But I'm always going to be like that. Yeah. I'm like a champion of the underdog and of women. Right. So. And it was a very small percentage of what was actually going on being shown on the show. Mm -hmm. So y'all really didn't, nobody really saw everything that he was doing and saying to me and, and you know, in front of me and even behind my back, whatever, just, you know, things that we all got to, well, she got to see in case. Man. But things always work out, though. Yeah. We're, we're exactly what it's supposed to be. Absolutely. So it all worked out. Okay. I heard you on Foxhole talking about uh, send some, somebody sending somebody $100 for lunch. Yes. If you're trying to impress <laughs> that person and court them. <laughs> so if you can't send $100 to someone you're dating, you shouldn't date? No, I don't think that. Okay. I don't think that. But I'm also, like, older, so I'm going to probably have money for my own lunch. Mm hmm like, I think these are struggle questions that don't apply to people that are grown ups Absolutely. nowadays. But that was a whole debate. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it, the people that just came up on 200 million? Well, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah, say yeah. I won. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say I won, but I just did remodel my house. But, anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> Bentley in the garage and a range. Um, anyways, no. Um, <laughs> that was a debate on the show about the $100 thing. The guy that said he wanted to give someone $30 for lunch, he was also flossing bricks of money on social media and sending uh, the person. My thing is this, everybody's rich until it's time to really pay a bill. That's mm. right. And you see people that want to like really do all this, but then you'd be like, oh, um, can you put on this dinner? It's it's $200 each. Then it's, I ain't got it. So it's like, it's a lot of like fake yeah. news. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If someone sends you $30 for lunch that and they're just being kind, I get it. If you're trying to impress someone and you, you want to do the $100 thing, I, that ain't really my life. I don't know. I really don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? I but I do get what you're saying. But as a woman, I like to have my own food money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll never date someone because I need to eat lunch. Yeah. You know, it's kind of yeah. hookerish. Or date someone because you need your bills paid. A lot of women know a lot of people do that. They think just because, because th there's also a debate about, oh, I'm not giving you none if you ain't paying no bills. Well, that's actually called, there's a word for that. It's called prostitution. Yeah, absolutely. And when I it say is. it, it's crazy. No, but it is, though, ladies. <laughs> like, I'm telling damn. you, it feels so much better when you can do it yourself. Now, if you meet someone that wants to take care of you, Fine. then you don't, you're you not, like, you're not um, obligated to, like, do what this person wants you to do. And that's kind of what prostitution is. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm paying you for a service. I'm paying you. Like, what happens to people liking each other? Mm -hmm. And then First. if I want to bless you with something, that's something else. Mm -hmm. But you're also talking, I'm also a trick. Like, we've already talked about this. I've also, you know, I bought rims and spent money on people and all that yeah. kind of stuff. I'm generous, but I also get blessed like 10 times back. Mm -hmm. It ain't tricking if the person is worth it, though. It's not. Yeah. It but is. I just, it's a joke, kind of. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's not, if you care about the person, go do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like, I'm not going to like hold, like, I'm not going to give you my time to get to know me unless you pay for it. Because to me, that is what a hooker is. Yeah. I agree. Now, how's, how's your love life? Last time you were up here, you were yes. dating somebody from New York. I was. Is it? Damn. I broke up with him right after we did the Valentine's Damn. Day show, and I never spoke to him again. Never called, reached back out? No, I sent him one message like, uh, you kind of lied about something. We can talk about it. I never hit him back again. I'm a, a Aries, not that signs play that much into it, but mm -hmm. one characteristic that is true, like when I can look right at you and it's like we never even dated before mm -hmm. if you hurt me, if you hurt me deeply. So no, I'm I'm not dating. I'm I'm still out here just, I have, I have no time actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I just worked 30 days, 24 seven. Like we had a 24 hour schedule. Damn. Like there was mm -hmm. no time for nothing, but yeah, I'm, but uh, all the lesbians that have been reaching out to me ever since I did the Breakfast Club, I think you, who, one of y'all made me uh, kind of like, kind of put out there about the women. Oh they my God. They have been in my DMs so <clears throat> heavy ever since I did the Breakfast Club. Y'all want her to be gay? They So I bad because they are. Well, they were acting. <laughs> Not yeah. that they are, but you know. Yeah. You know what they want everybody to be? They're trying to bring everybody like, to closet with them. What? <laughs> Not a bad thing, but like, I need some men to be as aggressive as the women in my DM because yeah, yeah, they yeah. they aggressive and they 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 Yo. know what they want. They be sending like long letters yep. too, like and they be yes. like, "Yo, come on, ma, God put you in my life." I'm like, I never. <laughs> God, <laughs> studs are more toxic than come men. Come on, ma, they God put you in my life. Yeah, they tell I, I me think about, studs are more toxic than men. One was like, I got mm. eight inches of. I'm like eight inches of plastic. Yeah. I can I, I can get that too. Yeah, I can take it off and put it on whenever. <laughs> right, I'm yeah. 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 yeah, that's sexy. Yeah, that's sexy. my thing always stays hard. What? Yeah, <laughs> yep. you gotta deal with erections. Wait, yeah. what? 
Oh, so yeah, stuff. so thanks to y'all, like heavy, no men hit on me. Only women hit on me now. Damn. Yes. You think they're mm. intimidated though? No, I, I, listen, that's the thing that we tell our girlfriends to make them feel better. They're just intimidated by you. <laughs> if they <laughs> want you, they're gonna come get you. They might uh, be, I think though. I shouldn't have been so honest about my- though. You beautiful, you intelligent. You got you, your own you thing got going on, career, you small. Like, yeah, yeah. So men don't like that. No, I think they do. I just don't think if you don't got your shit together, it's kind of hard that's true. to, you know. Yeah. I have who does. heard that, like, I feel like I can't pour into you mm -hmm. and you pour into me so much. Mm -hmm. And then that makes them feel like less than. I think that's what the issue is with the last dude. Mm -hmm. Like, he had lost his job and, and, and he had a great job, but he got another one, you know. But, like, I think that it's really, I'm sure you've been in a position yeah. where you're doing really well at the same time your man's not. And mm -hmm. it, it, it accentuates the difference, the yeah. gap. Yeah, and then no matter what you say to try to like build them up, if they don't feel it, they're not gonna feel good about themselves. Just and like as a you, man, and it probably not... irritates them to when you try sure. to help them. Like I don't yeah. need your help. Yeah, yeah. And then they resent you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know. It's hard to find someone that's equally yoked. Damn. You know what I mean, yeah, and I don't true. even need you to be like that equally yoked. I just need you to not be an asshole, and not lie too much. Don't you yeah. think that's kind of women fault a little bit? Doing what I mean by that is, if a guy has everything else, like mm -hmm. he's good looking, he's smart, he's funny. Good D. What? <laughs> Tell me, what's good, good D to you? <laughs> right. Jesus. What's good D to you? I need He's a... good in the bedroom. He's okay. got all of those boxes checked. That's, you said that's good better, D. That's better. That's better. I haven't forgotten about you. He's got all Mr. those. bottom heavy. <laughs> wow. Uh, He's got all those boxes checked off, but he not financially. I've Wait. done that. Okay. KJ wasn't balling like that. He was probably yeah. the best boyfriend I ever had. Yeah. Wow. He just didn't wasn't ready to get married again because he was like, you know, the first time around it didn't go well. So a lot of times at this age, you're getting people that were married before it maybe didn't work out. Mm -hmm. So they're a little bit gun shy about it. But like I've I've had that. But if he was, was such a good boyfriend, why didn't you just give him some time? I did. It was she three gave years. Gave him a lot of time. Oh my three. bad. No, no, go ahead. You <laughs> know, we was there. We gave him a lot of time. We were three years in. But he's yeah. he's now my best friend though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like there's no That's one the that best part of it. I there's no one that has my back like him. Like he has mm -hmm. he's my best friend. And for real, for real. And that's why I think I was kind of upset that it didn't work because it's like it's hard to find a best friend in your man. Mm -hmm. Like y'all could like Same just seeing them humor. together. Yeah, it's ain't like they be talking about people together and then she'd bring him back then he bring it like they laugh and then they crack on each other yeah. like it's like I don't know so that's the type of dynamic that I love yeah. you know what I mean like and that's like to have a man as your best friend that's the most dopest thing ever yes. it's the connection it's like you're not ever bored at home mm -hmm. you know you can talk to him about anything you feel safe with him at the same time y'all arguments don't last too long because y'all can come get right back. We you never had I mean? an argument in five years. I've known him. Jesus Christ! Not even uh, one time. Damn. So is it possible y'all can get back on that type? I of... I don't know. I think he's he's seeing someone now, but mm. he's like you know he's my he's my boy. Like mm, he yeah. you know I don't know. I really value people that are consistent. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because like we're in a world now where depending on how hot you are this year, mm, that's right. What you got going on? Mm. Then you see a different type of people around you, and then when they're not around, like that's when people are like just. I have 20 year friendships and he's gonna probably be one of those people. Mm -hmm. And that means a lot to me. I don't know. I don't know what the, the future has in store for me, but mm -hmm. I'm open to whatever. You like yeah. his current boo? Uh, I haven't met her. Okay. But if if he's happy, I'm happy. Cause I actually do care about him. There's no mm -hmm. jealousy. Like mm -hmm. I'm not like, I want him to be happy. He's a good person. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you spoke to Jamie? Jamie Foxx? No. No. Just uh, some of my mutual friends, I just have them like, I reach out to see like how he, they say he's doing fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, he back out there. You yeah, see him on there. stage and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What's going on with Jamie? <laughs> Genuine. Yeah. You're funny. <laughs> no, because he love her. He mm. does. He does. Yeah. He says I'm his forever crush. Yes, he will yeah. tell anybody that. Like that's not a secret, y'all. Y'all all looking like it's something else. I know. Yeah. He, know that. he know he loves Claudia. He so does. you ever dated Genuine? What's up with Genuine? We talked dude? years ago. Long time ago. And like people are like, y'all yeah, need to be like Nelly and Ashanti and spin the block. Um, we've been friends since ninety seven. I did his I did my first lead video was on his first album. Mm -hmm. Only when you're lonely, and we just been cool ever since. Yeah. But he was says like he's out there, like he's still having fun. He's living his again. So yeah. he was divorced, and now he's like having his fun. Yeah. But like he can't like he won't let anyone talk bad about me, and and vice versa. Like right. we cool. So okay. yeah, you can't be having fun at that age. We all getting up in age, man. I know, you know but you know, men are like y'all be sixty five years old, your knees caved in, nah. like you know. Yeah, now you want to settle. Now you want to be like, yeah, please come back. <laughs> hairline is here, and then that's when y'all want to settle down. The hairline's back here. The knees is looking <laughs> yeah. like, damn. You know, I don't want to say names, but you know who has bad knees out there. And then you, him. huh? <laughs> you know the K legs. I know what you know. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> oh my that. god. Like, please no. But he had hip surgery. Two mm -hmm. of them. 
Oh, you talking about Sharon Sharp? Yeah. No, oh. it's, like, no it's not getting hit. It's like parentheses now. Who y'all talking about? No, Kenny Smith and Tom Jordan have those knees. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They do. Yeah. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> I ain't never noticed. I don't what? think I ever seen Tom standing up. He ain't want nobody see. <laughs> now that I think about it, we when took everybody a picture leave, once, then he stand up. But it's not about them. It's about the fact that you guys will be 87 years old and all be everything is gone, just tore up. And then it's like, I'm ready to settle down now. <laughs> about to die. I'm about to, I'm I got to buy a year left. I like, I like genuine. He's a, I think he's a, yes. a, a, I think that's on, on, on one thing I don't like about genuine. What? But besides that, he's a, I, he's a good dude. What don't you like about him? He's a Cowboys fan. Oh, he is. Nothing wrong with that. He is. Mm, he is. Other than that, I like genuine. He's a good dude. He's genuine. Why are you trying to hook Claudia up? Because I, I think it's because yeah. he feels bad it. for making me a lesbian last time. Yes. He's giving you more options. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm kind of like I've been a hopeless romantic my whole life, and I would just jump in a relationship and just like, this is it, this is the one, and just oh. give them so much props and so much attention, and so much space and so much priority in my life. Mm-hmm. It took to me getting to 50 to finally like put myself there and first, right. and it has been so good. I know you talk about mental health a lot. It's been amazing for my mental health. Like, people be on my page like, you're glowing, you're glowing, you must be in love. It's like, no, for the first time, I'm not. Mm, I'm yeah. not in love outside of me, I'm in love, mm. I'm in love inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, where I'm like, I'm actually, because, like, being in a fucked up relationship will have you thinking, you're not good enough, yeah. or you're, you know, you're you're not worthy, or, you know, it can affect your daily mood mm-hmm. to, based on someone else. So I don't get any um, reinforcements, I don't get any of my confidence from external things. It's all right. from internal things now. And it's yeah. like, it's been the best year of my life. Mm-hmm. Like, the work that's come into my life, even the Tubi movies, like, all the yep. stuff, like, just yep. everything just comes and just, it's just coming to me. I don't go out for anything. I don't ask for anything. I just ask the universe to, like, just give me what I'm supposed to have. I don't mm-hmm. try to get anything. It just comes to me. And yeah. it's there. I mean, you got uh, Deal or No Deal, College Hill. Mm-hmm. TGIF. TGIF, Fox yeah. Soul. I'm on three shows yeah. right now, and it's only February. I mean, March. March. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember. You're kind of like the face of Fox Soul. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I, I was with them from the beginning. Uh, TGIF is a show that I created, mm-hmm. and I casted it. Mm-hmm. And it's the top show. It's like the main show now. There, It's five days a week. It's doing really, really well. Fox Soul, that's on Tubi, too, right? Can't you watch TGIF? Yeah, you can watch it on Tubi. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. watch it on Direct TV. We have a channel. Mm-hmm. Um, we're on like nice. 16 different platforms. And it's, the show is... The replace we kind of do what Wendy was doing, like hot topic. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So we have yeah. a little transition now because like we're trying to fill our third seat now, right now. Mm-hmm. So it's been like a lot of just trying out different. Oh, people. I saw that because y'all had uh, mm-hmm. Funky, Funky Geneva, Geneva. Yeah, which was which is great. Armand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Armand's been on the last couple of weeks. We okay. had uh, T. S. Madison and Dustin yeah, Ross, yeah. who lives here as well. Dustin, who's, yeah. he, he's fantastic. So yeah. we'll see what happens. With Does that. it have to be somebody from the LGBTQ community? No, it doesn't. Oh, I okay, actually okay. had two straight black man books, but uh, well, I'm sorry, one straight. Black man, one straight white man books, but like one person got COVID, one mm-hmm. person got busy. Because I wanted to try to switch it up and not yeah. just make it about that. Right. Because if we're gonna have a, <clears throat> no one can replace Funky Dineva. No. So like, let's just get like a totally different situation. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And I like Funky Dineva. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> he's very talented. very entertaining too. Yes. Yeah. What do you think about um, Real Housewives though? You never thought about going back. Like, what if they were to, you know, um, what you think? Well, I would do it now, but I, you know, I would do it now. I get asked that a lot, and then the people that don't like me, like, ain't nobody asking you if you want to go back on. But I get asked, like, you <laughs> right. just asked me that. Yeah. Please clip Literally, that. Someone interviews. asked me yeah. that. I, I asked, asked her. her I Someone wanted, asked me. I wanted to know if I, she would be open to, to go, doing it. But, you know, it's like I'm begging to get on on Thursday. Right. I'm going to go do Watch What Happens Live later on tonight. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a different place now. I have, like... That show, like, you have to have more of a glamorous life. At the time, I was, like, on a radio show, like, early on. Mm-hmm. Uh, the pay wasn't crazy where I was, like, a baller. I was mm-hmm. doing all right, you know what I mean? Um, I have the things now, and yeah. I have a reason. I'm going to Atlanta. I'm working with this uh, the streaming network. I'm helping help them build up some shows out there mm-hmm. as well. So I have a reason to go out there. I would I would like them to do a, a Dallas reboot with black women. Mm. You know, they had a Real Housewives of Dallas, and it, it you know, it didn't have anybody of, of color there, which if anyone who's been to Dallas, there's a lot of wealthy black women. Mm. Oh, yeah. All my friends, like, I'm, like, the least successful of my friends. Like, they're mm. all balling. They all have businesses. They have businesses. Yo, I read something the other day, and it said, uh, I want to say it says the most millionaires in America are in Dallas. Yes. Dallas, yeah. Mm. Like, almost... Almost a million millionaires. There's a lot. Uh, I don't know. It, it was a crazy it's number. It's a crazy number. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, there's a lot of money in Dallas, and the black woman there got it going on. Like they really, really do. Like they have house husbands out mm. there. 
you know, that wow. support them in other ways. Yeah. So you see a lot of that. And they have real money. Not yeah. like Atlanta, where it's like they just bought all the designer stuff at one time. Right. And, right. and then they have to be <laughs> roommates. No, not shade to all of no, Atlanta, because a lot of rich people the truth. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And Cali is like that, too. Yeah. Like, you yeah. got a Gucci belt, but you have eight roommates. Yeah. But you have Gucci Jesus. belts. Mm-hmm. You know, so. <laughs> but you have Gucci belts, nonetheless. But I would love to do um, <laughs> Ultimate Girls Trip with Bravo. Oh, yeah. I would love to do that. Yeah. So I'm waiting on, hopefully, that I get that call. Well, see yeah. murders out here, y'all. Absolutely. I'm out here. Miss Claudia Jordan, appreciate you for joining us. Always yes. a pleasure, y'all. I'm very happy for y'all. So thanks, thanks for having girl. me. Deal and No Deal Island, 10 p.m. Mondays on NBC. Mm-hmm. Uh, available the next day on Peacock. When does uh, college Hill start? Uh, in June. June, okay. They haven't had the date yet, but it should be like right after BET Awards. Okay. Be on the lookout. I want to see... Her and Saucy Santana. That's my. That is my boo. I love Saucy. Saucy yeah. is funny as hell. I know. And um, Saucy does what Saucy wants to do. Yep. And he's unapologetically him. And I. I have a. I. I really rock with him now. I yeah. really do. Yeah. I do. That's what's up. All right, y'all. Thanks. All right. All right. It's the Breakfast Club. Claudia Jordan. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.